Hello everyone, welcome back my channel. Trump advances to FEB interview for assassination attempt investigation. Former President Trump agreed to be interviewed by the FBI as part of its investigation into his attempted assassination on July 13, according to a Monday announcement from the agency. Trump, the Republican presidential nominee, was speaking at a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, when he was shot on stage with a bullet hitting the upper part of his right ear. The suspected gunman, identified by the FBI as 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, was shot and killed by the Secret Service. A rally attendee, 50-year-old former firefighter Corey Compertor, was also killed during the incident and two others were injured. According to Kevin Rojek, the special agent in charge of the FBI's Pittsburgh field office, the expected interview with Trump aligns with the FBI's standard protocol to engage with victims during criminal investigations. We aim to capture his observations of the event. Rojek told reporters on Monday, This is a routine victim interview, consistent with our procedures for any crime victim. Newsweek has reached out to Trump's spokesperson and the FBI via email for comment. During a Wednesday hearing before the House Judiciary Committee, FBI Director Christopher Wray revealed that hours before the rally, Crooks flew a drone roughly 200 yards from the stage where the former president spoke. According to the Associated Press, AP, the FBI has since recovered the drone and a controller from Crooks' car. In addition, before the attempted assassination of Trump, the gunman allegedly researched the shooting of President John F. Kennedy. Ray revealed during his testimony that a laptop tied to Crooks included a Google search of how far away was Oswald from Kennedy. This search refers to Lee Harvey Oswald, the assassin who shot Kennedy in Dallas on November 22, 1963. Rojek also revealed new details into Crooks on Monday, including that the gunman had conducted extensive online searches about mass shootings, improvised explosive devices, power plants, and the attempted assassination of Slovakia's populist Prime Minister Robert Fico in May. FBI officials on Monday said they have yet to determine a motive for the shooting, but investigators suggest the attack was meticulously planned. Meanwhile, a profile of Crooks was also revealed, which described him as reclusive, whose primary social circle was his family. According to Rojek, Crooks' parents have been extremely cooperative, with the investigation as they claim to have no knowledge of their son's plans, and the FBI has found no reason to doubt their statements. The AP previously noted that while the FBI has not faced the same level of scrutiny over the shooting as the Secret Service, Ray is expected to face questions about the Bureau's assessment that Crooks had no clear ideological motive for his actions. The shooting has sparked debate about the efficiency of the Secret Service and raise questions about the level of protection Trump and other presidential candidates receive.